Hey, what's going on guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT. Now, looks like this is very perfect to have the Mini Cooper S 2005 to get everything started in Gran Turismo Sport for our custom race. Now, let's just gonna see the car settings for having some specs for this performance. So, max horsepower is pretty good for 167 HP and the max torque is 162.3 weight pounds is 2601 and the drivetrain is the FF car pretty good for having an understeer Mini Cooper to get everything started out for it well maybe like the 1965 version of the first generation Mini Cooper so it was definitely a slow car was definitely built for it now probably until in the year 2005 it was definitely became entering a hundred horsepower range to be quite going in to be successful for it. Now I might be able to get started on the Alsage Village to be able to get started on the first round. Now this is going to be very good to see it. Now looks like for the same kind of for the interior view is definitely changed the same way for it since the debut of Gran Turismo 5 Prologue was definitely released for it. It looks quite very good to have this 2005 version of the Mini Cooper will be going in for it. Now I'm really gonna have to go with a one make race. This is gonna be quite very good to see how the Mini Coopers can go out for it. Now this is gonna have to get pretty up and go and this will also to have a 20 Mini Cooper race for only a, a single round to go for it. We'll have to see how pretty fast can it go with the same car to get ready up to get prepared for now take a look at the engine to be setting up in well pretty nifty to have that modern style to get in for it now looks like i'll be able to get started to go race for it now looks like good thing the red color is quite giving a good choice for you for it now let's go and let's have this four lap race for it well, I kind of think that the same style was definitely changed the same way for it. Definitely quite getting the good being popular for the high definition version of it. Now, looks like this is going to get a little bit challenging for it. You going to have to get a little bit prepared for an understeer turn for it. Just going to have to give a little break balance check to go on negative one. So it was pretty cool for 2005 Mini Cooper S to be able in GT Sport in the game because this is going to be pretty good to have a one make race event for every any kinds of Mini Cooper S models is definitely quite going well for it. But maybe you guys have already think that the modern version of Mini Cooper S in the Italian job movie. Well, I kind of think that movie is quite very cool to have three Mini Cooper S to be in it. That was quite giving the good popular views in the movie. Now, looks like this is going to have to get a little bit much quicker and slightly easier for it. I have to say, because understeer might work up a bit, that will also to get a little bit inside turn to get a little bit much simple for it. Okay, looks like going on in 10th place, only 9 more cars left. Now let's see how that German compact car to go a little bit much faster to take a little bit easy in that will also to get a little bit flip turn for it to slide it in. Okay, going in, take on that hillside turn to be taking on the right section. Good. So it looks like this is pretty good for a little bit much easier turn without getting tipped off for it because this might be quite getting a little bit of better weight position check to be able to have this car to be a little bit pretty turned on in for it and also for the engine sound it is quite very different things to change for it now looks like this is going to be a little bit much better for it so definitely the speed monitor, the monitor is definitely quite junky on the left in the middle side for it. Kind of it might be quite very good to see the features inside of that mini cooper on that interior for your course. Now looks like it's gonna have to get a little bit easy pass going. Uh, the 
make a little open page pass on the different color version of the trooper. So looks like two more laps to go now, entering on the second lap. Just gonna have to do a little bit easier flight up and turn. Well, I think that was easy to be able to use the professional difficulty. Now, looks like a little bit sketched about on the right. It also shows the different distance time when driving that Mini Cooper S. It's definitely quite good for the modern age technology for automotive because it was quite very good to have any kinds of speed monitors to show for it. And looks like it also changes from six to seven. Glad that modern Mini Coopers are quite very good and fairly typically quite giving a good edge on driving style performance for it. That will also to get pretty much nifty and pretty get the job done for it. Well, speaking of which, it was perfectly used to fit for a Mini Cooper event cup because this might be quite very good for it, much like any other compact car was definitely used for a Wamek race event. Now, this will also to give a little understeer turn, slide down in. Two more to go. Well, I kind of think that the blue Mini Cooper is going to have to be on the top three, so that would be quite very good, perfect references from the movie. Well, I kind of think that the Italian job is quite getting a good getaway movie scene for it. Three Mini Coopers grabbing any kind of good gold stuff for it. Well, maybe this is, might be quite giving a good use for it. See how fast can it go for it. Now, looks like I might be able to stick on to the under here turning the back for it. Come on, Blue Mini Cooper. Just try to keep up. All right, first place in the lead for the red Mini Cooper. Second place goes into the white. Well, also the white one is definitely in third. So I kind of guess that I might be able to have the blue Mini Cooper to be in third place. That would be quite good reference part for it. Okay, getting a little bit last turn. Now this will also take a little bit closer to import. Third lap, time's the charm to get pretty much simple to go on the understeer turn to get a little bit take tech advantage to take a little bit much improved fast time. Now looks like total distance is definitely reached up to seven miles. Now looks like definitely 11 kilometers is definitely shown on the right for it. I think that differences of each be monitor system to be able to go for it. Okay, pretty easy to use the double cones to go in and make a little inside apex to give a little bit much improved fast lap time for it. This will also to get a little bit much prettier easier to keep having the understeer turns to go on the wide inside turn. Has another freaking point. Well, real question for it. The Mini Clubman Vision GT is quite very good to use for it. Because this might be a perfect chance to have any kinds of mini models for it. The classic, the modern, and the futuristic Vision Grand Trismo car has definitely quite perfectly up for any three specific mini compact cars will be quite going very useful to race it in and see how fast can it make the better differences for it. Now looks like this might be very good to see how the best time to go in for it. Just gonna have to get a little bit inside apex on that sharp hairpin turn. Now, maybe this one simple improvement fast run for it. Just gonna have to turn the TCS off and see how it goes. Well, looks like this guy has to take a lot of bit more pressure to go in for it to see how the 
masters of the Mini Cooper are also to go a little bit easier to have the understeer turn will be giving a little bit much help. Good. Now, looks like this guy has to get a little bit long, one step closer to reach the final lap and then it all comes down to this. Just kind of to check on the rear mirror view, see how the other Mini Cooper S is doing. Just kind of to keep going on for a single final line because this will also to get a little bit perfect better for it. Hope still checking on the blue Mini Cooper, still trying to catch up into the third place, so that will be quite very perfect for it. Now slide it in, keep using the apex, we'll be going in for it. Stay on the inside turn without apex needed. That will give it a little bit better chance. Well, looks like this is going to be pretty easier to have a one small race for it. Now, looks like this might be very good for having a three round race. So, looks like I might be able to have the first round to get a little bit started out for having a one make race. So, this is very good for the 2005 Mini Cooper S. Pretty good standard vehicle like any other Mini Cooper models. And unfortunately, kind of like the Mini Cooper S 2007 model, that looks very good to have the better performance like the original for it. Well, maybe for, perhaps that this is going to be quite shown the differences of the Cooper S model. So it's definitely quite giving a little bit of the same and different body style for it. But this might be very good to figuring out the Paris Station models to see. But this might be quite very good popular use for the modern Mini Cooper. It will drive fast and not tipped off for it. And this is going to be quite good easier to get a little bit much better weight pounds for it to drive on for it. Now I'm still trying to check on the blue Mini Cooper. So close to have to get a little bit much harder to reach up to overtake to be in third place. Now, looks like time to take on for the final stretch. Just kind of give a little slight slow turn and then keep pressuring dives down for it. Okay, looks like first place for the red Mini Cooper goes in. Now, looks like this is going to be good for any kinds of drivers with different flag countries with using the same car for it. So I kind of think that this is a race one well done for it, but this will be able to have a little test. So, looks like very good for the standard earnings might be going in for it. Just gonna have to make a little halfway there, finishing up for taking the daily workout for it. Well, good thing taking a lot more daily workout to get a little bit chance for it to have the historic race car. Well, speaking of Italian job, so looks like Time to go on the race on Autodrome Lago Maggiore East and this will be able to be on the perfect right condition time to go for it. Now this will be able to use the same car and this time 3 laps with any different cars will be quite going on for it. Well maybe N200 car race will be able to go for it. Now let's see how the opponents could be able to race for the Mini Cooper S. Okay, so looks like the RX 500 is definitely the main challenger. NSX Type R, Civic Type R, and the Impressa 22B SDI is now in for it. Okay, looks like the E Type Jaguar is now in for it. Very good, very good. All the cars are definitely now in for it. Okay, let's race and let's see how it goes.
now this is going to be good for any kinds of standard vehicles and updated vehicles to be having a one time race to get imports now let's see how that Mini Cooper can go for it time for an understeer turn to make a little bit over take pass on any car for it just gonna have to take one pass on the XNR Roadster Well, different variation types of the hardtop version of the Mini Cooper S. So, it's like soft, a purple with a white hardtop on it. And it looks like I'm just choosing the chili red color with a black hardtop. So, this is might be quite showing the difference in the style for it. Now, looks like this is going to have to go a little bit much race faster on the east section of the Lago Margador Italian track. Able to get a little bit crossed in past and overtake the MR2. Then let's just give a Cheerio overtake to the Jaguar E type. Land it overtake clear pass without taking a single tap for it. Now, looks like the Renault Sport Megany is definitely quite being a little bit tougher to get a little bit braced in for having an understeer effect. Now, let's just kind of Take the Audi TT overtake. Let's get a little bit drop focusing on it. Another Supra Spice T overtake after I'm taking on the path on the Magni. It looks like Cressa is really enjoying for the race for it. Now, looks like the will also get a little bit much insight. Pass, go run. Now, looks like it's very good to have a little challenging to pass the RX 500. Just gotta go and make an early breaking point to get a little bit slowed in and use this apex. Go for it. Very splendid. Now, looks like only got six cars left to be able to get, get this Mini Cooper in the lead. Passing on to the Alfa Romeo 4C. Very splendid. Just got to go with the PS0 to be going in to have the little safety stop for having a run for it. Now let's see how it goes. Blended and it looks like there's a Honda NSX Type R is going to have to go and make an overtake on the Alpine A110 Premier Edition. So it looks like only got to get a little bit of catch up to get a little close on in for it soon. Okay, there's the SFR Reaching Concept. Gonna have to make a little bit close overtake to have that FR car to get overtaken by an FF car. We use the early breaking points to go in. Take a step closer. So, looks like this is gonna be almost there to reach on to the final lap port. Mini Cooper S goes a little bit drive fast and drive a little bit smooth hard to go under steer turn advantage to win. Now it looks like this is going to be a little bit trickier for it. Overtaking the, the French Sports Car 2017 model will be going in for it. Follow up and make a better way to go pass on the inside. So close. Now it looks like going on a small straight to be going at it. Come on, this will help. So it has to get a little bit much more juice to get a little bit paced up a bit. Mini Cooper on the lead. Understeer FF car goes a little bit tough for running experience to get a little bit challenging, folks. 
because this will also give you a little bit much prettier turn to go in and get a little bit much chance to improve. Well, I guess that being a little bit excited about Tokyo Zero coming up soon for it, or any other returning tracks might be quite coming in very close for it. Now, hang on. Just gonna have to give a little bit much more better run pass on for it. Back in the lead for the Mini Cooper S to take the under-tier turn. Just going for the last short stretch and then check the flag for the Mini Cooper for the win. Well, kind of thing that's pricing guess that the Hazard Bikes is definitely quite functional for it. Now, looks like this is very good for the A110 2017 and the NSX Type R. Pretty good improving run for it. That will be quite good for the FF cards to drive faster for it. Now, looks like giving a little bit of small earnings by standards will be getting a little bit better for it. Now, looks like time to get ready for the last race of the challenge of the day. Because looks like it's going to be one simple choice to be able to get ready to go for it now looks like time to go and race on over to dragon trail gardens layout course and then let's just go for the daytime to see how the mini cooper s can also takes a lot of technical turns to go in and pretty a little bit challenging events But this will also to get a little bit much quicker for it. But hang on, I'll just have to be right back anytime soon. Okay, looks like back for get everything ready up and go for final stage of the race. Now let's see how how race number two, part three, and looks like maybe unfortunately this might be the third round of the race by using the Mini Cooper. So it looks like this is pretty good to have any kinds of different car brands to race on in for it. Let's see how that Mini Cooper can also to race on uh, mastering on the uh, Dragon Trail Gardens layout. First turn is quite getting a little bit challenging to get a little bit to stay on it. Always got to stay on the inside whenever there's many more cars might be going in the pathway for it. Okay, watch out for the XNR roaster. Better to keep that one million expensive poster to get a little bit close in for it. Now, looks like very good. Whoa, well, man, looks like the Renault Sport Megane just stepping. You're gonna have to take a little section turn for it. Now, looks like the same car again from Lago Magador, and it looks like it's gonna be very good. And it looks like Sharp Hairpin might be getting a little bit closer for it. Gotta have to take that under steer turn to get follow up and fall through to the apex line to get in for it. Nine second gap will be getting a little bit up ahead closer because this gonna have to get a little bit technical corners to get a little bit expertise and masterful for it. And well, might be able to check a little car damage. This might be getting a little bit single hit, but still got a little front scratches for it. Now, looks like this is going to get a little bit much closer to get a little bit of right freestyle angle turn to go in for it. Okay, so it looks like scoop cars might be coming, getting a little bit straight up onto the double bridge overpass for it. Well, maybe underpass bridges corners might be getting a little bit come up with it. Now, last turn for the blind corner to get a little bit close and in for it. Now, this will get straight pass onto the RX 500 and looks like pretty good to get a little bit much better improved fast lap time for it. Blind corners are definitely quite good for a front wheel drive FF best friend. Second lap goes in for it. Now, looks like better to kick it up a notch for it. Now, let's see how this can also to get a little bit better for it. To Stay on the inside turn when having a clear space for it. 
Now, looks like the Impressa is definitely quite actually going in for it. Because this will also to get pretty much nifty to trick up to have an all-wheel drive and an FF car to be able to see it in for it. Because this will also to get a little bit complicated fast performance run for it. One successful pass and then Civic R overtake. Now, this will be able to get a little bit closer in for it, folks. Honda NSX Type R and the Alpine A110 Premier Edition is always be the Mini Cooper's main top opponents will be able to get very challenging for it because this will also to get a little bit of driving skill set to be able to race on the track. Now, looks like the MR and RR drive green might be getting a little bit closer for it. Now it looks like taking on the right freestyle turn corner will be getting a little bit closer for it. Now it looks like pretty good to have the air have the brakes to be able to get a little bit stopped in for it. Because this will also be a little bit much more technique to be able to have the FF car to go a little fast and through. Now Looks like very good to reach the 100 mile singular drag run for it. Then, blind corner comes back again for it because this will also get a little bit technique. Get pretty in and pretty out for it. Step on the apex. Was definitely the right final step for it until it might be going in for a new lap and final lap again for it. So, looks like third lap is going to be coming in a little bit closer. A110 is definitely quite coming in for it in the lead. So, it looks like a better way to have the best inside overtake to be able to get a little bit closer. Mini Cooper S always gets a paper best time for it to get a little bit under steer turn to be able to have a little courage. Nice. Looks like Mini Cooper S is definitely in the lead. Well, the 2007 model is definitely quite getting a little bit of the same efficient performance and better improvements will be able to get a little bit of chance to see the comparison performance to be able to race on any same track to be able to use the imports. Now, looks like it's going to have to get a little bit much closer when having first place for it. Now, this will be able to get a little bit technique to be able to have this for having a less breaking point. Standard breaking points might be able to be okay, so this will be able to be very cautious if you really want to don't decrease your SR rating for it. Now, let's see this corner technique to be able to on the freestyle corner whenever we're going to be going on to the under past bridge section corner to be parted in for it. Under mile range to be able to up approach. Give it a little bit of running drills to get closer in for the apex, and then this will get a little bit steam for it on your tires. Now, looks like almost there to take a little quick check of flag. Fair to keep an eye out for the gap distance for only a second. Pretty good race for one successful Mini Cooper Tastic victory. All right, Mini Cooper does gets the best understeer racing to be able to win. Now looks like let's just kind of check to see the earnings to be good. Clean race 50% plus, and this is gonna be good to have eight miles to go in and daily workout finish. So looks like this is very good. To see it now let's just check to see the Mini Cooper S the second one for it. Okay 16 place might be getting a little bit better for it so this will also to get a little bit try harder next time. Now looks like three rounds has definitely finished so looks like let's see today's gift card received from the daily workout. I hope this is gonna be a 
a Ferrari GTO. Or fortunately, I think this hidden guess is the De Tommaso Pantera. Now, looks like Jaguar F Type Group 3 might be very good. So, looks like it might be able to get one of the 2008 Super GT500 race cars, might be quite available to receive for it. Now, looks like it's definitely one color available on the mileage exchange. So, it looks like I'll be able to buy the G6 small plates, and then this is all good for now. So this will be very good precisely to be able to see. Well, it'll be able to be having some available colors by tomorrow because, well, I kind of think that today is the 13th of November. I kind of think this is, might be where the store lineup is going to be shown by tomorrow. So, looks like the Alfa Romeo 4C Group D road car is still available to buy, but only costs 4,000 mileage points. So, looks like the 2005 Mini Cooper S joins in for GT Sport for having a race. Well, I kind of think different kinds of Mini Cooper models was definitely quite seen for the previous Gran Turismo games. But good thing that a premium car always comes in for it to be able to race for only a one make event. That would be quite getting a little bit chili red successful. So, maybe before the next trying out rides for the November update. So looks like gonna have to go for the Jaguar E-Type Coupe to be able to go in for it. Now looks like this will also to get a little bit classic style for it because Mini Cooper always gets a better understeer advantage for the race for it. Okay all right folks glad that you really enjoyed this video thanks for watching. So before at the end of this Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube, and also the links on the description below if you want to see more. So, looks like I'll be continuing on for the next trying out vehicles on Gran Turismo Sports, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing, stay cool.